rest. It's what we want more than anything in this world. We look for it in a boyfriend or girlfriend. And we try to find it in pleasures like sex, money, and the approval of others. We want it in the morning when we can't get out of bed, and in the evening, even after a long day. But in the end, we are still left wanting. What we really need is a rest that doesn't fade away, that doesn't fluctuate with our emotions or circumstances, but remains constant through this journey of life. In Matthew 11, verse 28, Jesus says, Come to me, all you who are weak and weary, and I will give you rest. Jesus is the answer, and exposing this truth is what the Elm arrival is all about. Elam was a place of palm trees and water. It was an oasis in the middle of a desert. And God only brought the Israelites there after he had laid upon them an ordinance to listen to his voice and hear his commands and obey them. Similarly, in Hebrews 4, the author says, the promise of entering God's rest still stands, provided that we hear the message of God about Jesus and obey it from the heart in faith. This life, oftentimes, is like a wilderness. It's dry, barren, it's without a sense of clear direction, and it leaves us wandering without purpose. But the question isn't, how can I get out of this wilderness? The question is, how can I find rest within it? You can find your rest in Jesus Christ. Why? Because what you think of yourself is nothing compared to what he thinks of you that you are everything to Him, that you can come to Him and that he, can, that he will embrace you with all love, grace, compassion, mercy, and pour that out into you. And that you can, like I used to think, compare myself to others and would just go after what other people would think of me and try to appease them and I never got fulfilled. But then Jesus always reminded me of who I am and how much He loves me. And because of that, I am confident because of that because my Lord and Savior loves me more than anybody else and to the point to where I don't need to seek the approval of any other person in this life except for the person of Jesus Christ. Without this rest, I wouldn't be alive today. I was lost and confused for so much of my life. And it wasn't until I humbled myself and accepted the truth of Christ that life truly began to make sense for me. The satisfaction that I now have of knowing Christ and Him knowing me is what has kept me through every hard season of my life. And it's no surprise that I find every song that I write filled with the desire for Jesus' rest to enter into me and into those who listen to them. Our songs and stories testify to the power of Jesus in our lives. His presence in us is transforming us and we simply cannot be quiet about it, especially when the next generation's future is at stake. Too many high school and college age students are descendants of broken homes. The majority of guys struggle with pornography and a staggering percentage of young women battle daily with body image issues. Shockingly, suicide is the second most common cause of death among those in their early 20s. It's no surprise that antidepressant prescriptions have grown a staggering 400% in the last decade. We want to help this generation find their rest in Jesus because we know without it, they will have no hope. Having already witnessed God use the Elm arrival to serve the young lives of our local community, we have decided to take one step further and record our songs to provide an offering to serve the masses. And this is where you come in. We need your help. We need you to pray for us, connect to us, share the word, and finally, give to this mission. $5,000 is our goal and that's 200 pledges of $25. That's less than the pair of jeans that you're gonna buy this summer. Maybe you are a parent who wants to invest in your son or daughter. Maybe you are the hurting young soul. Whoever you are, we humbly ask for you to make a sacrifice. In this $25 offering, you're gonna get the music, you're gonna get a powerful ebook from our pastor, another powerful ebook from a member of our congregation, 
and some resources like lyric sheets and chord sheets so that you can take our songs and share them with your friends and family and community. If there's any other questions you have, please refer to the information below. And finally, may the Lord bless you and keep you and make his face shine upon you.